Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor, and now selling in Costa Rica. Somebody asked me, can you assign a property in Costa Rica? Can you actually buy Costa Rica properties to flip? Yes, you can. That was, that was one of the first questions I've asked because as an investor and someone who done a lot of assignments for myself when I started doing real estate as an investor and for clients, one of the first questions I ask is, can I flip them? What if I want to assign it? What if the value went up? What if um, I want to take some profits out? What if my life situation has changed? What if I want to buy a larger apartment and I want to get rid of uh, the one I bought because I got the one bedroom or, or the one plus den and I want a two bedroom or maybe a house? Yes, you can. So as you know, assignments in Toronto and in Costa Rica are basically the decision of the developer. When you purchase a property in Costa Rica, ask me if you can assign the, this property, if that development or developer allows assignments. So, for example, NIA in Costa Rica, which I am an approved seller for, so you can come to me from all over the world, not just from Canada, from the US, from Israel, from Australia, from Europe, from Germany. I will represent you with the developer. In your agreement of purchase and sale, that's the paper that you sign to buy the property. It will say that you can assign the property. And because it's an assignment, you actually assign the contract because we buy in pre-construction here. So until the time that your property has been completed and you got the keys and you got the deed, that means that the property is legally owned by you now and not the developer. You paid for it and you got the ownership. Until that point, you can assign it, okay? Now, every property will have its own rules and regulations. You know, in Toronto, usually they ask for 90% uh, sold out or whatever it is. And you can, you can assume that you'll find various conditions, which is fine. But generally speaking, you can assign. And in NIA, they don't even charge you for it, okay? So that's good. Why would you like to assign the property in Costa Rica? Well, very simple. The price in Costa Rica seem to be going up a lot, especially on the West Coast, Guanacaste. This is where we at. So the properties I represent at the moment, number one is Nia, number two is Riverland, and number three is Nomi. All these properties are in Guanacaste. It's on the West Coast, on the Pacific. That's where everyone goes to. So let's say you picked up a condo at Nia for, say, 350 USD, okay? You put the deposits, and by the way, the deposits in here are very, very low. Uh, they're 15 and 20,000 USD. So add about 30 or 35% to get the Canadian, 20, 22, 23,000 uh, Canadian, up to maybe 30, 35,000 uh, Canadian dollars for the deposit. You can actually assign this property to someone else. If your property went up by, say, $50,000, you can say, hey, I got this really nice condo, it's sold out. Uh, the next phase is even more expensive. So guess what? I paid 350 for this property, take it off my hands for 400, but you don't have to pay for the same property, next phase over, maybe four and a quarter, 450, whatever it is, okay? That is why you would assign. Obviously, other reason you assign is you want out of the deal, you want the money back, you want to upgrade, but that is basically how it works. You sign for the property in Costa Rica. You can do it in Toronto too. We've done it many times. And before it's complete, you can sell your contract. After it's complete, you're actually selling the property and then you're subject to all kinds of other um, regulations, taxes, and so on. So to the question is, can you assign your property in Costa Rica? Yes, you can. There will be some rules. There will be some regulations. There'll be some conditions. I will give you the exact rules, regulations, conditions for each and every property because they may not be the same. And you're good to go. Thank you very much. Yossi Kaplan.